when i was in school it was a convent school we used to read the bible and i remember this very sweet little story that the priest told a little boy go out and opposite to the church there is a tree and gently touch the tree and just say three times move move and move and so the child did it for the entire week and the next week he comes back to the priest and says father father i did it every single day move 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 so father said so but father the tree did not move i knew it was not going to move father said that's why it did not move because you knew it was not going to move it's here it's power of mind this is not blind faith this is power of mind because it is mind which creates the world there's a young brother who's an actor in mumbai in india he went through an accident on the set of the movies and his spine was injured he was on bed and most of the doctors had told him this is destiny the maximum that you can stand is 10 minutes at a stretch you will not be able to stand up for the rest of your life and he's seen the best of doctors in the country and he was just surfing the tv because he had nothing to do and he came up with this one episode about using the power of the mind and he said there you are saying my body is perfect healthy i am a powerful soul he said lying there in that position i said what is she saying this is not possible but he said you know what i had nothing other to do so i started saying it i am a powerful soul my body is perfect and healthy i am walking i am running i am acting he said i knew it was not going to happen but i had nothing to do so i was saying it he said very slowly it became my constant thought and i whatever i was doing i used to keep saying i'm powerful soul my body is perfect healthy i'm standing i'm walking after two months somebody came to him and talked about some faith healer distant healer in one remote part of the country unheard of he said you must go to this person he went there they did something it was a healing practice they did something person is back in the movies today acting running jumping doing everything nobody even knows he had gone through anything because he attracted that destiny into his life with the power of his thinking it always works it always works it is just that we continue to think of the situation as it is meditation teaches us don't think of the situation think of the reality you want don't think what reality is today think what reality you want tomorrow think it and make it happen because thoughts create our world are we ready to do it now ready to do it now let's create a set of thoughts which we can start using on a daily basis for the next few days if you have paper pen write it out if you don't have just audio record it on your phone or good memory just remember it we're going to use it for at least a month to see the result that it creates first thought i am a powerful being now what does it mean i am a powerful being i don't react to situations i am powerful i respond out of my choice so that is the meaning of i am a powerful being second i am calm and stable always i am calm and stable always so now this removes irritation impatience reactions i am calm and stable always vocabulary is important i am not i will be should be i am third i am always happy i'm always happy the world today is saying i want happiness don't we say i want happiness and the more i will keep saying i want i will always remain as i want i am happy always i am fearless i am confident post covid there is a vibration of fear on the planet because billions of us created that fear for two years it's become an energy so we need to protect ourselves from that fear that surround us i am fearless 
I am confident. Fifth, you can write your personal one. Any one habit, nature, you want to change your nature. Just the vocabulary has to be, I am the quality. Let's say someone has a nature of being late, never reaching on time. Try however hard. Try however hard. It's a sanskar, what we call it. It's a habit. So what should we give them as their affirmation? They're always late. So vocabulary, what should we give them? Hanji? I am on time. I take it one bit higher. I'm always before time. Because you know, when I have a sanskar of I am late, not only I affirm it, everybody around me affirms it. You are always late. You are always late. You can never come on time. Try however hard. They will tell you sweetly, tomorrow come on time, huh? And the blessing will be, I know, but you'll never come. So it's not only our thoughts which create our destiny, and people around us create those blessings for us. I know you'll never come on time. And then when you don't come, they say, see, I told you, no, you won't come on time. Vocabulary. So use that, any, any one sanskar, any one nature of yours, create the blessing. I am, and put the quality, use the highest vibration word. Next, for our body. My body is perfect and healthy always. We can even add mind. My mind and body is perfect and healthy always. Too many mental health issues increasing. My mind and body is perfect, healthy always. In case I'm going through any physical issue, even if one parameter in your blood report is not normal, add it here and say, my thyroid level is normal, add the figure, my creatinine level is normal, add the figure. Give the figure, but it's very important to give the figure. Next, for our relationships. I accept people, people accept me, my relationships stand on trust and respect, my family is united. My family is united. If I have to forgive, then we add those affirmations we did earlier. Past is past. I release. I forgive. I let go. I bless them. Now one affirmation for your profession. What you do. That you have to write. Whatever goal you have, short-term goal, long-term goal, what you want to achieve, where you want to reach, create that. I have already achieved fill in the blank. Success is certain for me. Success is certain for me. For your children, for your children, I am focused, my concentration is highest, and this year I have achieved fill in the blank marks, grades. 5% more than their capacity you have to put in the fill in the blank. Any situation not going the way you want it to be, put that as the next one. Be clear with the vocabulary, visualize what you want to see as your destiny and write it as it has already happened. During COVID, some people have borrowed money from us and have not returned it yet. And then my mind keeps saying, they're not giving me back my money, they're not giving me back my money. I know they're not going to give it. Say it and you'll never get it back. What should we say? Now what should we say? You know what happens when we create these thoughts, even if the other person was thinking of returning something today, we send such heavy energy, I know you're not going to give. So the other person says, Chale, wait, wait, I'll give it next month. Let me earn a little more. We literally have the power to change the other person's thoughts. And if the other person was thinking that they're not going to be able to give this month, 
news and focus thoughts. I know. I know you're returning it to me this month end. I know it. I believe it. I have full faith. You've come to me with it. And they will have that thought. Chalo, if nothing, not even the whole amount, I'm going to go and give partially something. Manifestation. Creating my reality. And the last one, which is extremely important. God's power and blessings is a divine circle of protection around me. Visualize a white light, high energy circle around you. We're always surrounded by people. And there's a lot of vibration and energy around us. And sometimes that sucks our energy. And so it's very important to envelop yourself with the highest energy thought so that any lower energy around you cannot enter. It's like that PP kit, wear it and enter into the ICU COVID ward. The virus can't enter. So a higher vibrational thought protects me from a lower vibrational energy. So God's power and blessings is a protection shield around me. So eight to 10 thoughts written there. Anything more personal you want to change, please put it there. Don't think this will not happen. Just put it there even if you don't believe it. It works even if you don't believe it. So some people say, I don't believe. Will it work? It will work. Because when you start saying it, the first thing that will happen in 10, 15 days, you will start feeling it. Initially, say it even without feeling it. If you're not able to say it, just write it without feeling it. Coding starts happening here. Here. Now, the most powerful time to do this, the two most powerful times is just before going to sleep and first thoughts when we wake up. These are the two times when the subconscious mind is active. Don't use the phone these two times. Today, we go to sleep with the phone, we wake up, half eyes open, we check our messages. How many of us have the habit, good morning to the phone first? What we do by doing that is, we consume the world onto our mind first thing in the morning. We're not going to consume the world, we are going to create the world. Ideally, save yourself at least an hour in the morning and before going to sleep, don't consume anything from media. Don't watch the world news before going to sleep. It's one thing to be informed about what's happening in the world and the second thing is to consume all those visuals and the audio and the emotion and the debate before going to sleep. After that, only the body sleeps, the mind cannot sleep. Has anyone ever experienced disturbed sleep after watching a horror movie or a crime movie? Anybody has ever experienced that? Yes. So when we watch a movie which is different, we experience the quality of sleep. But we will not experience the quality of sleep when we are, when we are consuming the same negative content daily. We won't even come to know that it's disturbed sleep. Technology has come for our benefit. If we don't use it the right way, then the same technology is becoming the cause of our destiny going in a very different direction. So last thoughts before we go to sleep, ideally keep a little diary next to your pillow and write it out before going to sleep because by then there's a lot of clutter on the mind. So write it out. And first thoughts in the morning is gratitude. Gratitude to the divine, gratitude to my mind and body, gratitude to people, gratitude to nature. Create a beautiful relationship with nature. If you respect nature, nature will take care of you. We need to create a beautiful relationship with nature. So just before going to sleep and first thoughts when we wake up. Easy to do this? How many can do this? Two minutes? It's only two minutes. Actually, it's not even two minutes. It's 30, 40 seconds to say this. That's all, that's all the time that it takes. Third most important time just before a meal, just before a meal. You are what you eat. I am what I eat. This line is power. But we thought I am what I eat means proteins, mineral, carbohydrates. So it is not my body is what I eat. It is I am what I eat. In Hindi, it's very powerful. Jaisa an, vaisa man. 
which means as is the food so is your mind use this power use this power just before you begin your meal how many of us say a little prayer gratitude prayer before a meal very few even though we were taught to do that every meal right so why were we taught to pray before a meal it meant create high energy thoughts before you consume your meal because it's come with a lot of vibrations that meal before you where it was grown which market who cooked who served everybody's energies in that food so just take 10 seconds keep a shorter version of your affirmations say it before every meal every meal 10 seconds want to manifest it faster before every glass of water water absorbs vibrations the most water is like a blotting paper it just goes like this and that is why water is used in all rituals in all prayers it is water 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 because water absorbs our thoughts experiment with this water so just with a glass of water can we visualize holding a glass of water everybody do this this hold it there nobody should come to know what you're doing you're going to do it at work you're going to do it at home no no one to stare at it and do it don't do anything which people see because they'll make fun of it and you'll stop doing it the next time so just do it in a very comfortable manner the glass of water is with you and you're just creating a thought i'm a powerful soul i'm always happy my body is perfect healthy success is certain for me god's power and blessings is a circle of protection around me 5 seconds drink your water you have changed this water this water that we have is the water of the city and the water of the city has all the vibrations of the city so in hindi we have a saying which says kis shehar ka pani peete ho which means which city's water do you drink you become like that because the water absorbs the vibrations the sanskars of the city so if there's stress in the city there's going to be stress in the water there's fear in the city there's going to be fear in the water never drink water before without a 5 second pause you can literally change your destiny with this just 5 seconds i'm powerful i'm healthy 5 seconds it's like washing your hands this removes physical infection taking a pause bit before eating and drinking removes emotional infection vibrational infection can we do that 5 seconds before a meal before water all it takes is one week of attention after that you'll never do it without saying it it's it's as simple as washing your hands we can never forget even if i get up at 2 o'clock in the morning just to have a glass of water i will not drink it without saying it because it's now become a system 